Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be very weird and different because I'm in the bathroom and I'm not going to edit it just because I have a lot of things to do today. Um, before I get into it, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe as usual. And I'm just going to try to, I'm going to try to keep things concise. I was a little confused because I just came from waking up and there was a lot going on in the episode, but yeah let's get into it so in my notes i said Tro toby is trying to see if he can date both abby and mary and my thing is like at this point toby is just like, like a character like i don't see any winning potential i don't see any real relationship potential when it comes to him toby is just gonna do toby and anybody who wants to entertain Toby can go ahead and entertain Toby. That is their business. We do see the preview for the next episode where he, what, his head, his heart, and his mind, something. He wants to try things with Mary, but is still conflicted about Abby, but his heart is with Chloe. Okay. All right. I, yeah. So next, Tyler pulls Cass for a chat. And honestly, Tyler's really like, scaring me not scaring me as like real scared but scaring me in terms of men can really say stuff people in general but i'm a woman so obviously my perspective is from men talking to women can really say things and it be gaslighting the entire time because here's the thing about trying things out right if he would have just came in saying you know right now my greatest interest is in you however let's just see how things go sure but what he said was i'm coming for you and only you it does not matter who else comes in that includes casa amor tyler that includes casa amor and it shouldn't take in my opinion it should not take seeing somebody else um for you to change your mind on the person you've made a commitment with without having a conversation with that person it is unfortunate that the way that casa amor goes is if you don't bring that person back you miss the opportunity to get to know them while in the villa you know but at least if he had the opportunity to come back talk to Kaz, and then they either work it out between the two of them or he says listen i had a greater connection with clarice and i'm just gonna figure that out when we get out cool i know what i'm saying is not a possibility that anybody would ever do of course always bring back the person from casa duh but i could see why kaz is very upset on the other hand though i can also see why tyler is kind of annoyed because it's like at the end of the day you still chose somebody else whether it was out of spite or out of a true connection you still chose someone else and yeah she's she's kind of doing the same thing that he did the difference is his was um his was on impulse he just did it because he wanted to do it and hers was in retaliation to his actions if that makes sense with matt it's kind of weird for me because i don't know if her connection with him is really real or if it was just he's the best situation out of what was there um they do seem to be very affectionate with each other um so yeah maybe it's truly there i don't know we'll give it time i just hope for his sake that she's not forging a connection with him out of spite um and i don't think that she would i just i just hope that he d he also doesn't see it that way you know like she's still pretty emotionally riled up about tyler so it's easy to blur the lines between i don't know if she really likes me or if she's just trying to stick it to tyler if yeah um liam child that boy knows he screwed up because in that kitchen he could not even look her in the eye couldn't even like say anything and the thing that really pisses me off about the liam situation is tell me the truth off the bat do not try to spare my feelings do not try to spin a narrative that will make you look better in my eyes because when we get out of this who's gonna watch the show me and I'm going to see exactly what happened, regardless of whatever story you told me. I'm going to watch it back. So you might as well tell me the truth now. And the fact that he said one thing and then she had her um, little meeting with Lily. And honestly, I was really proud of Lily. Lily told the truth through and through. Whether it was good or bad, she told the truth. She said, listen, this is what happened between me and him. But he also was saying these things about you. Like, 
she wasn't just trying to incite drama. She really was telling the story as it is. And the fact that Liam was so rattled, like when she came back, he went to Kaz and was saying, don't, don't blow up the situation. Don't rile her up, whatever. Like, please make it better for me. You don't, you don't get to pick now. You have the chance to tell the truth. And when he came back from Casa acting all smug, thinking that he'd gotten away with it, and then Lily started saying things, and he's like, oh, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. No, he already had it in his mind that how am I going to spin this situation so that I come out looking the best? Sometimes in relationships, whether we like it or not, we are the villain in the story, okay? We are the villain in the story, and we have to accept that. And he could not accept being the villain, which inadvertently made him look worse, in the long run they later had a conversation and millie called it off she was like i just can't i just can't trust you and she had been saying that even before she knew the result of casa and like i said before her not trusting him even before knowing what he was doing was a red flag in itself i understand that she has a natural disposition not to trust people but if you've been intimate with this person to the level that you have and you still don't trust him were you really supposed to be together you know and then for him he's leaving the conversation going and talking to the guys talking about i don't i don't believe her i think it's still there you know i apologized apologies does not guarantee restitution let me tell you okay just because you apologize to somebody does not mean they are obligated to forgive you or they're obligated to make things go back to the way that they were i do think that she does want to forgive however for him to say oh she's lying she no she said what she said i i personally hope that she means it because it'll it'll also teach him this is not the reason why I feel like she should stick with it, but it also does teach him that just because you apologize does not mean you're guaranteed that things will go back the way that they were. You apologize because what you did was wrong. However the person decides to react is up to them. That has nothing to do with you. Um, lastly, who do we have? Oh, family, uh, Faye and Teddy. They both apologized to each other. Um, they made up. And I'm, listen, I've been saying from day one, Faye is my girl. Faye is, I don't know if y'all can hear my friends. See, this is why I have to hide away in the bathroom. Um, I've been saying Faye is my favorite, mainly because I see my direct reflection besides skin tone. When I see Faye, like her disposition, her jokes, her sarcasm, the way that she loves, is like me and the fact that she's able to get back in with teddy um i'm really happy about that i did not expect to like them the way that i did but seeing them go through a hardship i was like wait okay no i actually do like them together so i'm glad that they worked things out yeah tomorrow's episode <sighs> go ahead and explore that whole thing with Toby, but please don't make the whole episode Toby Island. I can't, I cannot deal with this man. He is so all over the place. <sighs> all right, guys, with all that being said, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe as usual. I don't know if I'll be doing it this way again tomorrow. It just depends on the things that I have to do, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then.